Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would do just a random vlog for you guys. It is Sunday, October 29th. Yes, October 29th. I don't have any makeup on because it's Sunday and I really don't care. Um, I'm like wearing the most comfy outfit ever. Leggings and a t-shirt. I'm, I'm rolling with it. Um, my parents are at church and I didn't go with them because I've been feeling super uncomfortable the last couple days and I just don't really want to go sit in like a, an hour long thing and I just everything is getting really tight and really uncomfortable I'm having contractions but they're not um, regular um, I think I had a bunch of them last night when I was sleeping because I would just like move from being uncomfortable but it wasn't enough to like wake me up and get me out of bed so I'm just gonna just hang around the house today. I think when my parents come back, I'm gonna make them take me downtown to walk around for a little bit and just get myself out of the house because I've literally laid in bed for the last three hours. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm watching Pocket Full of Primaries vlog from last week. I'm really, really behind on her stuff and I feel bad. Um, also, look at my skin. Like, I have the worst scarring ever. None of these are real active zits. They're all scars. <sighs> Someday, guys. Someday they will be on. Someday. Um, but I am going to just pack my makeup, hospital makeup bag, um, because I put together a list of last minute items that I need to make sure that I bring with me to the hospital. So I was thinking if I like packed them all kind of like now, and then like use them from the bag that I'm packing them in, then all I have to do is grab the bag. Because in my mom's house, we have this bathroom. It's really dirty right now. Um, but we have this big bathroom, and in this drawer is where I keep all my like makeup and stuff. And so I'm gonna transfer just my everyday what I need makeup into uh, a makeup bag so that I can just grab it and I can use it daily if I'm here. Um, and then I can just grab it and go when the time comes. But I think I'm actually gonna put it in this bag because this is what I always use for makeup when I travel. I think I got this at Target. It's got like one side netting. Here's a spot for brushes. It's a small zipper pouch and then like another one. So I'll probably put this in here and then that way I can just grab it and use it, like I said, and then when it's time, just pick this up and grab it, so. All right guys, so I packed my makeup bag. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what's in it. So in this side, I put all of the makeup that I'm going to bring, which really isn't a lot. So I have my Kat Von D Locket foundation, which I always mix with the CoverGirl 3-in-1. I have my Too Faced setting powder. I have a Milani blush. I have the Tarte Tape and Shape concealer. And then the Tartlet um, eyeshadow palette. And then I also shoved my Beauty Blender in here, this NYX eyebrow thing and then my blush brush I just shoved that in there and then in this middle pouch I just have my tweezers my eyelash brush because I don't need mascara and I have a chapstick and then in here I just have a blush another like blending brush br blush brush a powder brush and then this foundation brush if I need it and then a couple of eye brushes and my mirror. I don't intend on like putting makeup on for the entire thing. I'm really just bringing it so that I can make myself feel beautiful like the second day when we're taking photos, when we're going home, just things like that because I might want to and why not? It's not really taking up a bunch of space. So I have that packed. I really want to get a new pair of Birkenstocks because the pair that I have is like the Madden Girl ones and they're falling apart. Like I'll show you. So these are the shoes that I have and the like front comes off. The <laughs> um, middle is like coming apart. These are the Madden Girls. I think I got them. I think I got them at Ross like last year and I think I'm gonna invest in a pair of real Birkenstocks. It's still pretty warm out and 
I'm thinking that since it's going into winter, they might be on sale, who knows. If not, whatever, but I know that they will last forever, so it's an investment. Like I've told you guys before, I invest more money in shoes and purses because A, they always look good no matter how chumpy or skinny you are feeling that day, and um, most of the time they never go out of style, so I'm going to just splurge and get myself some Birkenstocks, and I think there's a local retailer downtown Prescott that sells them because Jennifer and I went looking at Famous Footwear. We went to Dillard's um, and we went to Journeys and they didn't have them but I think they would ha they have them downtown Prescott so we're going to go check and see. We're going to go eat lunch at our one of our favorite restaurants and um, then I think my mom and I are going to walk around downtown for a bit. We'll probably drop my dad off and then walk around downtown for a bit but it is a beautiful day up here in Prescott today and um, it's like, I don't know, I want to say 75 degrees and sunny. So we just went and had lunch at the El Gato Azul in downtown Prescott. If you guys are from Arizona and you've never been up here, you need to come up here, especially right now because it's so beautiful. And um, El Gato is on Goodwin Street. So I got my favorite chocolate covered gummy bears from a happy camper. So I'm going to show you my favorite street in Prescott. It's called Mount Vernon Street and all the um, houses are decorated for Halloween. So we're going to drive up it and show you guys what it looks like. Second of November and still no baby. We are 39 weeks and Mr. Cash is not coming on his own yet. I have another appointment tomorrow uh, to check for any progress but it seems like he's probably not gonna come on his own at least. I don't think so. Uh, my due date is obviously a week from yesterday and she won't let me go a week over, so I believe that if he's not here by the 8th, then she will schedule an induction. Just kind of like a waiting game. We've been walking, we've been taking raspberry leaf tea, we've been doing pineapple, we've been trying all the other things, and nothing's really moving along. I mean, I'm getting contractions, but they don't really hurt. A couple of them do, but they don't really hurt. So, I don't know. We're going to go eat some lunch. Somewhere, I don't know where yet. She can't make up her mind ever. Well, I just don't have the decision-making gene right now. But there's no such thing as a decision-making gene. Yeah, huh? You're making that up. In-N-Out Burger. Mm, I love In-N-Out Burger. 
Because we just had it. Is that where they went? <laughs> In an upper? You want an upper? Mm, maybe. You have been an upper all the time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's leaving the flag staff. So yeah, Mr. Cash, we would like you to come out, please. Look how big your belly is. You mm -hmm. can't even see the see yourself. Hello down there. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling large. But I don't I don't feel like I'm that big, it's just belly. But you're not in charge. Nope. <laughs> oh, Xander's so cute. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're on baby watch. And so far, nothing. What are you doing? Making egg rolls. Ooh. I attempted to roll egg rolls and mine were all cracking, so I put Scott on them. And he cracked up. And he cracked up. We're also making wontons. Your mom's frying over here. Mm -hmm. Coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Made it healthy. Yeah. yeah. Still one of these. For oh, I'll have to eat that one. Oh, man. Bummer. Oh, there's a little bit of hair on it. Good morning, guys. It's um, Friday, November 3rd. And um, this morning, let's see, it's like 8.30 this morning. Um, I think my water broke, but I don't know. Um, I felt a gush. I stood up, went to feed my dogs, felt a gush, followed by a trickle, followed by a puddle on the floor. Not a big one, so I don't really know. I called the doctor and she said to just go ahead and go to the hospital, have them check me out. If anything, then I'm already there. If nothing, then I see her at 3 o'clock today. So, we're just packing up our stuff and we're going to head on out. Um, no, but I did text him. Scott is not here currently. He went to Phoenix yesterday, last night rather, um, cause he's at work. So he does know that there's a chance. So I told him, don't be too busy. When did you tell him? That? Um, like a half hour ago. Oh. Yeah, as soon as I told you. So we're just packing up and we're gonna head to the hospital and see what's going on. No baby, no water breakage. <laughs> just some routine leakage. Oozing. Oozing. <laughs> Ooh. Ew. Um, so we're gonna go and get some breakfast and um, go to my friend Ruby's house and I'm um, gonna get her yoga ball and see if I can bounce on that. Also no dilation, no anything, so. You know, holding a baby might get your hormones going too. That could be a thing. I don't know. We don't know. So, holding Ruby's baby. Anyway, no baby yet. Baby watch is still on. 